Hello there everybody, so Butter Knight 2 AK Nightmare, and welcome back to Dungan Roomba V3, Killing Harmony. Now then, um We are now going to finally begin this class trial that's led me to nothing but confusion. Also, I just realized I've got like 12 points I can spend on different skills here, so let's see. Increase effective I, I should have looked at this. Oh! Um one of you guys told me that the max amount of um Mono coins you can have is 999, which kind of sucks. So what I did, I thought about spending money on just the random gifts, but you know what I did instead? I just piled it all right into the freaking casino. So now I've got like 8,000 coins, which means I'm pretty close to getting. Uh, oh shit! What was it? 10,000? Was it 10,000 or was it 15,000 that you needed to buy the uh, um that key? Eh, the, the, the love key, I don't know. I think I'm, I'm getting close to being able to buy another one. Anyway. Uh, shit, I really don't know. I spent some time trying to think, like, while I was at work, I was trying to remember the details of this case and all that. So, I have kind of a theory before I actually go into this. So, Kokichi and Kaito aren't even in this for some reason. And we don't know which one is the one that was put into the uh, um, the hydraulic press thing. So, I had to think about this, and here's my theory. What I'm thinking is that Kokichi's the one that's probably be, he's probably dead. He was probably put into the compressor. As to why Kaito's clothes were in there, I'm not entirely sure, but the detail that Kokichi's clothes were found stuffed in the toilet makes me think that their clothes were swapped to make it look like Kaido was killed instead. Although not entirely sure why that is. I mean, shit. But anyway, so what I'm thinking is there's a chance that Kaido may have killed Kokichi and Before he could do anything about it, like, okay, we probably, he probably assumed that Kokichi was the mastermind, kind of like a lot of other people is, but I refuse. Um, however, before he could even, I mean, what I'm thinking is, Kaito is like, he was sick, but I'm not entirely sure what it was. So, he might have actually died, and, or maybe he knew that he was going to die. So he hid himself away, probably, but I'm not entirely sure why he would do that. Shit, this thing that I spent all day is starting to fall apart. It, fuck it, let's just, let's just throw ourselves in. Okay. Ahem. Now then, let's begin with the basic explanation of the class trial. And all your children are dead. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Oh my god, even his freaking portrait has a question mark on it. Vote correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate. Graduation is meaningless here. We already know that. Oh. We don't need your rules anymore. We'll find our own reasons to live. Good. And we'll do whatever it takes to survive. Good on you, Kibo. Wow! An actual talking robot! I've never seen one of those before. You're a talking robot! Seriously? What happened to Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Aw, don't make that face, killer! This case has some unique circumstances. Unique circumstances? Well, let's hear- Oh my god, even Kokichi has a question mark on him. Cause for this murder, the victim's identity is completely unknown. Given these circumstances... I've decided to start off this class trial while the victim is still anonymous. What? After all, it'd be a shame if I let such a rare opportunity go to waste. Is that possible? I thought 
everyone had to participate in the class trial. Yeah, could you care to explain that? Don't worry. The person who's still alive is waiting behind the scenes for their cue. What? It's all part of the overall production. Anyway, let's get this trial moving. They're still alive? Okay. I guess we have no choice but to start the trial under these conditions. Shit. What's there to even talk about? The Blacken is the mastermind, Kokichi. Well, we don't even know that. I'm still not convinced that Kokichi is the mastermind. Again, he's the ultimate supreme ruler. That is way too convenient for him to be the mastermind. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of, too. It's too soon to decide anything for certain. We don't even know if Kaito was the victim. How long are you going to say that? The victim is Kaito. End of discussion. Am I gonna have to go into a blade battle with you? But we need to be absolutely sure. If we don't positively identify the victim, the other person will never show themselves, right? Before we can identify a suspect, we need to determine who the victim is. Right. Why are we even talking about something so obvious? What a pain. Are we already split down the middle? Everyone thinks that Kaito is the victim, but I have my doubts. There's a chance Kaito is still alive. If we keep discussing the case, I'm sure we'll see the truth. I'd like to think that Kaito is now... Okay, I, I, I really do want to hope that Kaito is still alive in a way. Okay, what do we got here? Monokuma file... The victim I has to be Kaito. Kaito was taken prisoner by Kokichi. So he could have killed him whenever he wanted. And the hydraulic press had his clothes inside. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence for it. So the victim must be Kaito. And the culprit must be Kokichi! We're not moving anywhere with that line he of thinking. Kazing! If only mages could cast revive spells. There's no evidence that allows us to confirm the victor or the survivor. Victim of us or the survivor. It's too early to declare who the victim is. The victim has to be Kaito. Kaito was taken prisoner by Kokichi. So he could have killed him whenever he wanted. Yeah, I, I kind of had a feeling that was going to be at the moment that... His clothes inside. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence. You were saying? That's wrong! I have evidence that points to Kokichi being the victim. I found this in the hangar. Yes. Is that Kokichi's coat? Surprise! Yes, and look here. There are blood stains on the sleeve. That would indicate that Kokichi suffered an external injury, correct? Kokichi was injured? The fact that these were flushed down the toilet implies that they are evidence of a crime. Yeah. What about it? Kaito's clothes were in the hydraulic press. As long as we have that evidence, there's no doubt that Kaito was the one murdered. Then how do you explain the clothes that there were Kokichis with blood on them, Maki? Yeah, that's right. It's one of those irrefutable evidence things. You seem way too eager to make sure Kaito's dead. Ever since she found the body in the hangar, Moggy's insisted that it's Kaito's. But why is that? I thought we had an understanding. I thought she'd want to believe Kaito was still alive. Uh... Oh! Oh! Okay. 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 Change up on the theory here. Ch ch just a little bit of a change up here, okay? I mean, uh, okay. Um, shit. Oh god! Why would Maki be so insistent on Kaito being dead? I mean, what if she's in on it? 
Like, what if Kaido did successfully kill Kokichi, but Maki kind of assisted? So, maybe, maybe this was actually, maybe Kaido was on to, maybe, maybe Kaido was thinking that Kokichi wasn't the mastermind. So they kind of did this to try to bring the mastermind out. So maybe that's why Maki's, I don't know, insisted on Kaido being dead. Either way, it seems Maki is hung up on Kaito's clothes. In that case, I need to demonstrate the flaw in relying on that evidence. If I do that, I think she will realize there's a chance that Kaito is alive. Actually, there's something bothering me about the clothes found in the hydraulic press. Mm -hmm. What about them? There's something peculiar about those clothes. You mean like the puncture wound in the arm? Uh... That? That's it! Why was only the sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press? If Kaito had been crushed by the press, the sleeve shouldn't have been empty. There should have been an arm inside the sleeve as well. Yeah. So the fact that we found an empty sleeve should... Shall I kill that logic? Okay. I was joking about us crossing blades, but okay. Huh? You're dumber than I thought if I have to go out of my way to explain it to you. If you can't even see that, then be quiet. Otherwise, you're just annoying me. What the hell? Rebuttal showdown. Okay, what are my blades? Kuma file, hydraulic press, Kaido's coat, swipe pattern, bloodstain. Sticking out of the hydraulic press. It's rather telling. It couldn't have been anyone else. But Kaito. If you can't see that, then you weren't looking hard enough. We'll see about that. I wasn't looking hard enough. What do you mean? He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. So when the hydraulic press crushed him, all that stuck out was his coat sleeve. If you understand to be quiet already, otherwise you're getting in the way. Maki's claim appears solid, but I know that's not... that it's not. She's wrong. We can't conclude Kaito is dead on that evidence. So she was talking about the way that he wore his jacket well if memory serves he always had his left arm like in its sleeve am I remembering his sprite correctly hmm. he always dressed himself in a rather odd manner oh whoa he shit never put his arms through his coat sleeve I'll cut through your words okay Yes, it's true. Kaito never put his arm through his sleeve. But that was just his right arm. He wore his left sleeve normally. And the left sleeve was the one we found outside the press. Okay, so my line of thinking was correct. Okay, okay. Knowing how Kaito wore his coat, that's awfully strange, isn't it? Then maybe neither of his arms were through the sleeves. Maki? Huh? It's a possibility. In the end, your reasoning is full of holes. Stop getting in my way. I have to defeat Kokichi. Maki, what's really going on? Seems you've made up your mind that Kaito is definitely dead. But why would you do that? It's like Maki said, though. Kaito's gotta be the victim. Because if Kokichi, the mastermind, was dead, the killing game would be over. Kokichi's not the mastermind, you fool! Yeah, that's true. Monokuma, hurry up and bring Kokichi here. We already know who the victim is. Huh? Already? You sure it's not too soon? I s refuse to believe that Kokichi is the mastermind. Until the game tells me otherwise, fuck off!
We need the suspect present now that he's the subject of our discussion. My deep, my deep apology. I should not have cursed like that. I'm sorry. Gotcha. I guess I'll bring him out now. Hey, Mr. Suspect. That's your cue. It's Kaido, isn't it? In use. Let uh. Shit. Okay. An exosol? Behind Kaito! What? Why is an exosol here? <laughs> Whoops. My bad. Seems like I gave you guys a scare, huh? Exosol Kaito? What is this? I fucking got it! Kaito is alive! <laughs> Kaito's voice? Kaito? There was a lot going on, so I just hid in an exosol and kind of dozed off. Oh my god! <laughs> That's why I'm so late. Anyway, what's going on, guys? Yeah. <laughs> then the one that died wasn't Kaito. It was Kokichi! Stupid! That was just a lie! Fuck! thought I died? <laughs> I would never. No way. Fuck. Kikichi? Wait a minute. How the hell did you perfectly mu I'm very confused right now. I'm gonna live till I die. I'm gonna laugh instead of cry. Wow, that's old. How old are you? I, I thought as much. Your appearance right now is fit for a lowly asshole like you. How the hell did- what? what? <laughs> You're making me blush. You're getting so angry over me. Is that the... really you, Kokichi? That's right, Cracker Jack. Seriously, how old are you? Then why are you hiding in there? Show yourself. Oh, this is more for self-defense. Little Miss Cranky Pants would kill me if I showed myself. No, this is this is beyond con <laughs> This is beyond confu I You perfectly matched Kaido's You perfectly matched Kaido's voice and that is it You're neither of them are you? And how you guys must feel. You can't believe it because I'm like this, right? <laughs> That's what I thought. In that case, I brought evidence. Evidence? Ta-da! The video camera. It was in the warehouse, but I brought it to the hangar, just in case. Shit, maybe that is Kogiji. Man, that was a smart move. Thanks to this, I filmed it so everyone could see it clearly. The moment the victim died. What did you say? What? Alrighty then. Let's watch this shocking moment. Hey, Monokuma. Can you connect the video camera to the monitor? Roger that! Monokuma grabbed the camera from the Exosol, hooked it up to the courtroom's monitor, and played the tape for us. Oh boy. I feel like I've been bamboozled. Fuck! Huh? Uh, 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 Kaito? This is terrible! Why would something like this? Jesus! I saw it through my fingers. The moment Kaito was crushed. <laughs> gonna... yeah. By the way, I'd like to add that this footage has not been doctored in any way. This video camera only has the basic functions. Just the play, record, and pause button so you can't edit after filming it.
but... Mm. Fuck you, it is possible. You just simply paused it and switched out the bodies. And then hit record. Of course, I didn't upload it to a computer to edit it either. Right, Monokuma? Oh, you can talk. Your answer is necessary for a fair discussion. I see. If it's necessary for a fair discussion, then I will answer. No trace of that footage was found on any of the computers inside the Academy. I see. If it wasn't connected to any computer, then editing the footage would be impossible. But you can change how the footage is recorded, you fool. Which means this footage is 100% real. If that's the case, then it would seem our suspicions can be lifted. The body we found inside the hangar, crushed in the hydraulic press, is definitely Kaito. Then how do you explain the trail of blood? The murder video has been recorded in the monopad. Viewed from the truth bullet menu. We got a truth bullet mid-trial? Was that? Was that really him? Poor Kaito. I can't believe he died such a horrible death. He died with his guts and his brains splattered all over that machine. You're making it easier for me to vomit. Don't do that. Stop it! Now I'm starting to not feel well. <gasps> it's probably because I used my magic to transfer all my bark over to you. Well, uh, of course. A class A type of spell that allows you to transfer your bowels straight to your opponent. What?! I know that's a joke, but the thought of it... <sighs> Why? Why was Kaito killed? Kokichi had no reason to kill Kaito. He just told us all that he was the mastermind, that the killing game was over. So what would he gain by killing Kaito? <laughs> it looks like you finally believe that I'm the one in this exosol. I don't. Yes. With that, we can definitively say that the culprit is... You. Huh? Why? You filmed the moment the victim died. Which means you were present at the scene. As the person who filmed this footage, you're the only one who could be the culprit. But if the culprit shot the video, why would they go out of their way to show it? Oh man, you got me! Yeah, I'm the culprit. What? Jeez, I totally dug my own grave. Here's the truth. I decided to participate in this trial in an exosol after I killed Kaito. Of course, it was mostly to make the victim unknown. To jazz up this trial. I took that footage for proof so I could reveal it after you guys get the correct answer. But <laughs> I totally spaced out. I wasn't supposed to show it right away. You're not Kokichi! So does that mean you admit to the crime? Oh, man. I dug my own grave again? Well, I don't think you guys will believe any of the excuses I make now. So, I give up. You're giving up? Does that mean it's been decided? We literally just started! Is it okay that this trial was so short? No! That's fine. We knew from the very start that Kokichi was the killer. <laughs> but before we vote, I want to say something to Kokichi. You may be the mastermind, but I won't let you escape after you violated the rules. That would desecrate the killing game Junko and Oshima created, right? Your beloved Junko and Oshima. Junko? Whatever! It's voting time now! Let's go before Kokichi changes his- No, hold on a second. This isn't right. Thank you! The culprit comes in, confesses to the crime, and the trial ends? That's not how this goes. Are you all really that stupid? That doesn't sound like the kind of game Kokichi or Monokuma or Junko would play. I've went through multiple games. This is not how Junko would want it to go. Okay, technically she kind of would just so she could inflict despair and all that, but this is not how she wanted it to go. What if the mastermind got 
got tired of it. The remnants of despair were like that. No, if they were tired of it, they wouldn't have put all that effort into the video. Precisely. There would have been no need for this class trial in the first place. Something's not right. We need to get a better feel for the situation. I think Kokichi has some sort of plan. He's trying to trap us. Trap us? Are you saying Kokichi isn't the culprit? Then, are you suggesting one of us is the culprit? What? If it's not Kokichi, then the culprit must be one of us. One of us? That's not possible! No, I didn't say that. I was just saying it's dangerous to trust Kokichi. <laughs> Shuichi is so distrusting. You shut your mouth! But it's exactly like Shuichi said! I'm actually not the culprit! Seriously? What? But that contradicts what you said previously. Oh, I lied. Yep, first, that was a lie. Sorry, I lied again. The real culprit of this case is super bad at hiding themselves, so I thought I could help. I pretended to be the culprit by using the footage! It made the game more interesting, too. Uh, are you serious? <laughs> what's the truth and what's a lie? I don't know anymore. Fuck! It's fine, because Kokichi is the culprit. You wanna get us killed, Maki? He killed Kaito. No matter how much he deceives us, it won't change our minds. The footage shows he did it. Kokichi has to be the only option. No, he's not. The only option? Is that really true? Are we just going to leave it at that? Hell no, we're not. There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. That's not right. Horrible video. Whoever committed that crime was with Kaito in the hangar. Which just leaves Kokichi then. Then the culprit is Kokichi Oma, the mastermind of this entire killing game. And Kaito's killer. Kokichi killed Kaito with the hydraulic press. That's the consensus right now. But that's not possible because there's a safety function that prevents... That basically stops the hydraulic press as soon as there's something living underneath it. E except for, um, no, uh... Kibo. It's supposed to have a safety function that basically prevents it from crushing a living person. So I think I need to counter Himiko's statement. I think I think I saw a glimpse of it, but I think the safety function is one of the truth bullets I've got. But is that even possible? There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. Yes, it is. And my line of thinking was correct. Kaito got crushed to death. No, he didn't. That's wrong. How the hell did I do that? I wasn't expecting to get the V counter, I was just moving it to where I thought the break would it was gonna The safety function would make it impossible to kill Kaito with the press. The safety function. Yes, it was written on the safety precautions. The hydraulic press will automatically stop if its infrared sensor detects a living organism. Thank you. So the hydraulic press won't move at all if there's a living person under it? Which is why it couldn't have been used to kill Kaito. Which means, it's more likely that Kaito was crushed after being killed by some other means. So what we saw in that video, he was already dead by then? But you could disable the infrared sensor of the safety function with an electrobomb. No. I don't think Kokichi would use an electrobomb for that purpose. It would have taken down the hangar's alarm system and Exosol's remote control. It would have put Kokichi at a significant disadvantage. But you can't be too sure I wouldn't do that. I'm the type who would do anything for fun. Shut up! Also, we don't have any evidence of a different murder method other than the hydraulic pr No, we do. 
I have a plausible theory for the murder. The crossbow? There are puncture wounds on the arm, so... What? Yes, there is a clue that suggests the victim was killed before being crushed. I found it somewhere around the hydraulic press. Crossbow. There was a crossbow in the bathroom. Perhaps the... Oh! Wait a minute, wait a minute. I... Pff, God damn it, I'm an idiot. And there should have been evidence of the body being carried to the hydraulic press. Was there any evidence? Damn it! Oh, God, I got that wrong. The, uh... It was the... Yeah, that. This is it! Once I got I got I got a little ahead of myself. A pattern blood stain in the hangar, suggesting a body was dragged. The blood stain goes from the bathroom all the way to the press. Oh, that was the restroom where Kaito was being held, wasn't it? Blood stains were also found inside the bathroom. That can't be coincidence. So Kaito was killed in the restroom, then dragged to the press and crushed? If the bloodstain even was Kaito's. What? Wait, what? We only guessed that Kaito was killed in the bathroom. Since his body was crushed, we'll never know if Kaito died some other way. Not tonight. We might not be able to examine the body, but... We do have evidence that suggests a cause of death. Oh, 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 the, uh, the puncture wound on, on the sleeve. There! The small hole on the sleeve of Kaito's coat is the key to his cause of death. The, the small hole? No, no, no. There is no way that hole's got anything to do with the weapon. I hit you with my everything you buy will go on sale the next day, curse. That is a horrible curse! How dare you! Himiko, what's wrong? Why are you freaking out all of a sudden? Um, I'm not freaking out. Yes, you are. I'm just saying it's impossible for the weapon to be that small. No, it's not impossible. I can show you. The weapon that left that small hole in Kaito's sleeve. The crossbow! This is it! I believe the weapon was the crossbow found in the bathroom. A crossbow arrow would certainly leave a hole that small. Yep. Can we then conclude that Kaito was shot with that crossbow? If so, that crossbow just might be the actual murder weapon used to kill Kaito. I see. Surprising that a crossbow is the murder weapon. Seriously, Himiko, what's wrong? Yeah, I'm kind of concerned, Himiko. She probably needs to pee. Anyway, about Kaido getting shot. If that was his cause of death, then I wonder who shot him with the crossbow. Well, I already know, but I won't tell you. He's just playing with us. I mean, duh. Then let's show him that playtime is over. Let's that ass line. The students of Hope's Peak Academy will never submit to despair. Hope? Despair? Okay. Why do I have a feeling that's not Kokichi? I wonder who shot Kaito with the crossbow. What a mystery, right guys? Who else but you could have done it? The shot would need to be fired. From inside the hangar to hit Kaito. We couldn't go in the hangar. The alarm system and electric barrier were in the way. If we couldn't go in the hangar... Jesus. And Kokichi had been in there, then he must be the one. I see. So I'm the culprit. Kaito would have been in there. But the murder weapon was a crossbow. Knowing that, we should be able to able to, we should be able to visualize the murder. Well, 
It's not a close range weapon, so we'll go with my original idea that I had earlier where you'd be able to shoot through the window. Now the only question remains, is that even a truth bullet? I wonder who shot Kaito with the crossbow. What yeah! Okay. Now it's gotta figure out which one I gotta shoot. Done it. The shot would need to be fired. From inside the hangar to hit Kaito. Up uh, and fire. That's wrong! Gotcha! Okay. Even without going in the hangar, it was possible to land a shot with a crossbow. There was a window in the bathroom of the hangar. Maybe it wasn't possible to get in, but you could have shot through the window. And remember that Kaito was confined to the bathroom. So if they shot Kaito through the window, they could have killed him in the hangar. Which means the murder suspect list grows to six people, including me! <laughs> what did you say? But, put plainly, that means... It seems Shuichi wants to make one of us the culprit. Is that it? What?! Is that what a detective does? Huh? What the hell, Maki? Do detectives always accuse people? Even when they're friends? It seems like it. You suspected Kaito in the previous class trial, too. I never suspected him! You're always suspicious of your friends. What the hell is going on with you? What's wrong, Maki? You seem like you're kind of on edge. Of course I am. When we said we would defeat the remnants of despair, someone got in our way. No, you don't understand. I'm not trying to... It doesn't matter how much you get in my way. I will absolutely defeat Kokichi. I won't let despair escape. I won't let it win. Now, now. Let's stop this boring fight and continue on with the not-so-boring trial! Fuck off! So we all agree that the murder could be done by anyone and not just me, right? That might be true, but I didn't know about the window. Himiko, would you stop? Neither did I. Really, Himiko? What's the matter? You've been weird since we mentioned small holes. What? Are you after my small hole too? <laughs> <laughs> no! What the fuck? See? Now that's definitely weird. Look at it this way. Just because the culprit could be anyone, not everyone is a suspect. We can pretty much narrow it down to anyone who knew about the crossbow. I never knew about any crossbow. In other words, I'm not suspicious. There's no way you can consider me. It does concern me that Himiko went to the hangar last night. Yeah, and she was carrying a black case that, from what I understand, has a kit where you can build a crossbow. Well, really? You went to the hangar, Himiko? Yes, she did. I definitely saw her. You, you were watching me? It's awfully suspicious that you went to the hangar last night. Okay! Then the culprit is Himiko! Shut up! Wait! Don't say it's me! Maki's more suspicious than I am! Th what? That crossbow came from your research lab, right? How would you know that? Oh, wait. You could've gotten that crossbow whatever you wanted! Anyone could've gone to her research lab, though. She's not the only suspect. I don't know about that. She's definitely the most... Himiko, just stop. Even if you make that scary face at me, I'm not gonna get scared. Because if you start panicking, then we'll know that you're the culprit. I said I'm not the culprit! I swear! I'm not even going to think of accusing. Accuse you. Anyone could have entered my research lab. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'll admit that I'm suspicious. Okay, maybe I am the culprit. Maybe yes, I am the culprit. the culprit! Oh, God, really? Okay. Mass panic debate. Great. 
Okay. If you are the culprit, then explain the crossbow. There's a good mountain source around the area. So I went Then who is the number one suspect? Kokichi, I'm the one who shot Kaito. Jesus Christ. Blah. We should look at the inconsistencies in our testimony. There's a lie there somewhere. I was... Fuck. Why am I the number one suspect? Because I was in the hangar. If you are the culprit. What do you mean? Can you explain the crossbow? That... Ebo's account? There's a good magic source around there. So I went then who is the number one suspect? <laughs> Fuck, I missed! Oh! I heard it! I, I apparently I missed, but I barely nicked it? Okay. You said that you went to the hangar empty-handed, but that's a lie, isn't it? What are you talking about? It's, it's not a lie. You carried a black case, Himiko. Just be honest. But Kibo saw you. He said you were headed toward the hangar, carrying a large black bag. Yes, Himiko was definitely carrying a large black bag. Th no, that was probably Sumugi cosplaying as me. She can't cosplay as other people. She has cospox. You know I can't cosplay as someone unless they're a fictional character. But aren't you guys technically fictional characters? Himiko, this is the bag you were carrying, isn't it? That's the crossbow case. There's no mistake. That is the bag I saw Himiko carry. What? Hold on. Himiko went to the hangar with a crossbow? Uh oh. Well, it's decided then. No, it's not. And I'll believe you on that. It's the truth! Please believe me! I believe you! You're right. I believe you. Himiko is totally telling the truth. At least I hope so. Not you! If you believe me, it makes me look like I'm lying! You're not wrong. That is true. But can we really trust Himiko here? She was acting very suspiciously. To hit Kaido with the crossbow, you'd have to be fairly good with it. Could Himiko have done this? That's the question. Well, I don't think so. One, I... Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't think I can compare, like, how high the mirror, the window was and how he, how tall Himiko is. But if I'm going to... I'm going to make the assumption that she's a little too short to even go through there, so there's no chance she'd be able to even use it. Let alone... I don't even think she'd be able to build it. At least, I mean, she's she's got more magic. She has no reason to use a crossbow. I mean, from what I understand, crossbows and guns are very much anti-magic. And I was right in thinking that the crossbow would be the bullet. It's okay, Himiko, I got your back. I don't think Himiko used the crossbow. More accurately, she couldn't use it. Couldn't use it? Why not? Because you have to build it. 
The crossbow inside this case was disassembled. Kaito and I learned how to assemble the crossbow from Maki, so we could have done it. But I don't believe someone without the proper training could have assembled it. Well, what if Maki taught Himiko how to assemble the crossbow? She didn't teach me that! Right, Maki? What's wrong? What? Are you mad about before? Sorry. I thought they were gonna suspect me. So, I lied. Well, <sighs> I mean, if you've got nothing to do with it, there's... I don't know. If you had nothing to do with the case, it would be better if you were just honest about it. But... I do not blame you, Himiko. I don't. I really have to question your morals if you're blaming Maki for your lie, Himiko. I don't think you're allowed to say something like that. Yeah, Kokiji morals? Are you kidding me? Tell them the truth. Fine. I'm not going to lie. I didn't teach Himiko how to assemble the crossbow. She couldn't have used it. Thank you. See? I told you. It's just like I said. Everyone who suspected me needs to apologize right now. That's right. All of you people in the comment section, apologize to her. Please. She changed back so fast. I think I might have whiplash now. Then... Why did you bring the crossbow to the hangar, Himiko? Somebody asked you to? I was asked to. <laughs> okay! Who asked you? Asked to? Perhaps the person who asked was probably Kaito. I mean, it makes sense. He would be the one that knows about how to make a freaking crossbow since Maki told, taught him. That's it! Was it Kaito? Huh? Kaito? Only Kaito or Kokichi would have asked for a crossbow to be brought to the hangar. Because Kaito knows how to assemble the crossbow, he certainly could have used it. Knowing that, I can't imagine that anyone else would have asked Himiko. I do not think she would bring it at Kokichi's request. Uh, duh. Of course not. Why would I ever listen to Kokichi? See, you, you got a good head on your shoulders. Cause I know you like me. Bullshit! Nah, -uh. I hate you! You can even state that in red. But I like you. Eh? Huh? No, don't fall for it! Hey, don't play with Himiko's heart. She has a very innocent, magic-filled heart. Don't you dare taint it! But to think that Kaito asked Himiko to do that. Maybe Kaito is trying to keep the promise we made yesterday. Don't you worry, I'll do something about all this. That's a promise! All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. But why were you keeping that a secret, Himiko? Well, Kaito sorta of asked me to keep it a secret. Ah! And Kaito died and I got scared. I thought it was gonna be next. You're the worst for trying to pin the blame on Maki just for that reason. Shut up, Kokichi! Maki, teach this dumb monkey the true terror of human beings. Don't bully the person you like. That... This is way beyond bullying a grade school crush. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Himiko, when exactly did Kaito ask you to do this? Um, I think it was around evening yesterday. I was so nervous about fighting Kokichi, I couldn't get to sleep. I took a walk near the hangar, and that's when Kaito called out to me. I got startled and wet myself a little, and then he asked me to get him a crossbow. I... I didn't need... I, I didn't need that particular piece of information. Um, that one part was, uh... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> A crossbow. Does that mean he was going to kill Kokichi? No, he said it was to disable Kokichi. I wouldn't have helped him otherwise. I trusted Kaito and took a crossbow from Maki's lab. That's when I witnessed Himiko. 
But then, what did Kaito do after he had the crossbow? I don't know. I just handed him the crossbow, then went right back to the dorm. Presumably, Kaito tried to attack Kokichi, only to be disarmed of the crossbow. And then, Kokichi returned fire and shot Kaito. That sequence of events seems logical. Then how do you explain Kokichi's clothes? I mean, for fuck's sake, there's a mark on the back and a mark on the arm with a lot of blood stains on it. No, it happened a little differently. Both Kaito and Kokichi shot the crossbow. And there's proof of that. Kokichi's clothes. This is it! Okay, so far my line of thinking is correct. That when we found Kokichi's clothes, there were holes in the back and sleeve. The same kind of hole that was found in Kaito's coat. Kokichi was shot by the crossbow too? And it was Kaito who shot him, right? Hmm, I'm not sure. I don't remember anything like that. You don't remember whether or not you were shot? There is no doubt that they shot each other with the crossbow, but... It doesn't matter. Maki? It doesn't matter what happened in between. In the end, Kokichi killed Kaito. Mm. Maki's been acting strangely. But why? Does she know something? If so, what does she know? Maybe Maki's right. It doesn't matter what happened in the middle. You can't ignore a major part of the damn case! In the end, there's no mistake that Kokichi killed Kaito. Then let's hurry up and vote. No, it's too soon. There are still mysteries. Who cares about that? We already know who the culprit is. Maki? You sure about that? Thank you. Oh my god, I actually just thanked Monokuma. What the fuck? Huh? What? Now he's joining in? As the one running this trial, it bothers me when anyone says mysteries don't matter. You probably get along with Furuto Erika. It affects the overall entertainment value, so I encourage you to really think about things. After all, there should be some mysteries that still matter. For example, is Kokichi really inside that Exosol? Stuff like that. I fucking called it! What? Huh? What are you saying? We already finished that discussion a while ago. Did we really? Kokichi's gotta still be alive since the killing game's still going. Oh my god! We don't know for certain that he's the mastermind! Even though the story is completely telling me that he's the fucking mastermind, I refuse to believe the game! His voice is even coming from the Exosol and everything. Then how do you explain that he sounded like fucking Kaito? Unless the Exosol is programmed to have both of their voices. But we heard it speak in Kaito's voice earlier, didn't we? Thank you- oh my god, I just think the homicidal fucking bear. What the shit? Yeah, don't rely on that. After all, this Exosol has a voice changer. It- what? Ha, cause of that, nobody realizes I'm pretending to be Kokichi. But no more! Sorry for the wait, guys! I- uh... The luminary of the stars has arrived! This time for real! What? What's going on? I don't know, but my brain hurts! I told you, I'm Kaito! I was just pretending to be Kokichi, is all. There's a bit of a situation going on, so I didn't really have a choice. Sorry about tricking you guys like that. My bad. Huh? So Kaito's in there after all? Don't be stupid. How many times are you going to be tricked by him? That's Kokichi pretending to be Kaito. Pretending to be Kokichi, pretending to be Kaito, pretending to be Kokichi. <laughs> Sorry, my brain kind of leaked out a little bit. Hey now, Maki Roll. Don't you believe me? Don't ever call me that. Jesus. Whoa there, chill. You really think I'm Kokichi? I mean, I guess I understand. Sorry, I can't really get out of this thing right now. Why not? I can't move because of the injury I got from Kokichi. It's so bad I can't even stand. That's why I'm in this Exosol. Is 
that so? But if you guys don't believe me, then we can't move on. So, you're up, Shuichi. What? Me? Excuse me. Explain to everyone how I wasn't the one that died. Hmm. Kaito is alive after all. No, maybe... That's just what I want to believe. Is it really true? What story does the evidence tell? Well... Let's look at the crossbow again. There were... Three or four arrows, I think? Hold on. Let me look at my truth bullets real quick. Uh... Okay, there were three arrows. And... Let's see... Um, first, let's look at Kokiji's clothes. Okay, I guess don't show me! Um... Shit. Okay, so there's one puncture wound right there. And there was a puncture wound... Okay, both holes... Okay, small holes were found in the back and one on the sleeve. So there were... That's a total of three holes. So that... That means that... Kaito was shot once. But Kokichi was shot twice. And I'm guessing Kokichi was the one that ended up dying, I think. Okay, let's see how this goes. Does that story end with Kaito or Kokichi being the victim? I need to give a well-reasoned answer to that question and soon. I can't look away from the truth. The victim of this case is... Uh... trying. I really am, but I can't think of anyone other than Kaito. Most of the evidence we have points to Kaito. Hey, what's the matter, Shuichi? Just hurry up and tell everyone why I'm not dead. Should be easy. <sighs> Damn it. No, I won't. Because you're not Kaito. Kaito is already dead. Despair will never die! <laughs> Good! Good! This is already more entertaining! <sighs> Damn it. Now! The Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds! <sighs> That's the confusing part. The video points that it's Kaito, but. The wounds on freaking Kokichi point that it's him and I just... God! Alright! Let's give it everything we've got! Oh god. Okay, let's do this. He's not gonna join... He's not gonna join us, is he? Well, I'm not seeing him raise, so... It's Kokiji! It's... Oh, wow, it's me... It's just me and Maki? I suspect that Kaito is inside the Exosol. Leave the Exosol because he's injured. Is it possible that Kokichi got crushed instead of Kaito? But there was an arrow hole on Kokichi's shirt. I want to believe Kaito is still alive and defeated the Mastermind, but. Why are you so opposed to Kaito being alive? I want to believe that Kaito is alive too. But that video is definitive. We have nothing to counter it. Damn that Exosol! Why would he confuse us like this? I suspect that Kaito is inside the Exosol. I've got this! Unless he comes out of the Exosol, we can't confirm that. He said that he can't leave the Exosol because he's injured. Look! Anyone who knows about Kaito's injury can make that claim. 
possible that Kokichi got crushed instead of Kaito? Mom. Did you watch the footage? Kaito was the one who got crushed. But there was an arrow hole on Kokichi's shirt. I got this! Kaito's clothes had arrow holes too. I want to believe Kaito is still alive and defeated the mastermind, but... I got this! Because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. Why Shit. are you so opposed to I got this! Because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. Fuck! I messed up. The keyword was mastermind. I, I fucked up. Kaito is still alive and Fuck. Okay, let's try that again. Try that again. I fucked up. I suspect that Kaito is inside the Exosol. I got this! Unless he comes out of the Exosol. We can confirm that. Is it possible that Kokichi got crushed? Maki. Did you watch the footage? Kaito was the one who got crushed. But there was an arrow hole. I got this! Kaito's clothes had arrow holes too. I want to believe Kaito is still Maki. The mastermind is still alive. Inside that Exosol. Why are you so opposed to Kaito being alive? I got this! Because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. Okay. I don't want to believe it. In a way, I still can't. Trust me, I don't want to believe it either. But the evidence... The evidence shows that Kaito must be the one who died. I hate it. I hate it so much. But it's the truth. I see. If that's the conclusion you've arrived at, Shuichi, then there must be no mistake. Then the one here is... Looks like I messed around too much. Sorry, that was just a little joke. Fuck you! What a sick joke! You're still an asshole. True, and I can't forgive him. But we still need to stay calm, be rational. Because we need to get to the truth of Kaito's death. <laughs> yeah! Just keep calm and carry on! Getting back on topic, why don't we examine the crossbow a little more closely? Oh god, though. Uh... I think we need to get all the facts straight, so we don't fall for any more lies. I agree, but what do you think, Maki? Fine. Okay, let's discuss that then. Why are you acting like you're in charge of things? So, if we assume that Kaito and I shot each other with the crossbow, then the most efficient way to solve this is to set up a timeline of events. Hey, I said, why are you... Alrighty then! Let the debate begin! I'm really not liking this damn case. I'm really not. Crossbow there is electro bomb crossbow used. Fired, what was even going on? As if you need to ask, you were there! The crossbow was in Kaito's possession first. He probably fired the first shot at Kokichi too! Then Kokichi disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow, and returned fire. I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. I secretly brought a different one! But only one crossbow was taken. The other two are still in my research lab. Still, only one arrow was fired. Uh, so no, there's actually three arrows. Other. By the way, crossbow shots hurt a lot. My wound is still aching something fierce. If you're really Kokiji, you got shot in... Uh, what? What was that just now? I feel like that goes against the information I have. When the crossbow fired... Okay, I was right. Himiko was is on? not correct. It was actually fired three times. Ask, you were there. The crossbow was in Kaito's possession first. 
I'm gonna keep firing these just so I can get some extra time on this. Then Kokichi disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow, and returned fire. I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. I secretly brought a different one. That's not possible. Only one crossbow was taken. The other two are still in my research lab. Still, only one arrow was fired. That's wrong. Right in the V counter. That sounded very wrong. Wait, Himiko. What do you mean, one arrow? Well, I only gave Kaito one arrow, so... Wait, what? Wh what? Are you positive? Of course! There's no way I got that wrong! Well then, that's strange, because... There were three arrows in the bathroom, remember? I'm not doubting you on that. Kaito even told me to only bring him one. He said he wanted to avoid fighting. There were three arrows at the scene, but Himiko said that they, she only brought one. What is going on here? Uh, maybe Kokichi had some hidden away? Was there another person involved? Why would Kokichi have two arrows when he didn't have a crossbow to fire them? But we know for certain that three arrows were recovered from the scene. And all three arrows had blood on them. And altogether, their clothes had three perforations in them. So we know for certain that they shot three arrows at each other. And where did those arrows come from? I don't think that Himiko is lying. There must be some angle to this we haven't considered yet. What is it? What could have happened? Think. I need to think. Psych taxi. All right, let's do this. Oh, sweet mother of mercy! I was not expecting him to move like that. God damn it! Uh, okay. Oh, freaking vehicles getting in my way. That was intentional. You made it to where I had to hit them. Says the guy who does not know how to drive in a video game. How many arrows did Himiko give Kaito? One. Obviously. Okay, what options do we have here? One, two, three, four. One! And hit the lady! There we go. Don't ever try that at home. Ever. Oh shit, talking about motion blur, Jesus. You tricked me! You... Fuck you, game! You tricked me! Asshole! You know... I missed all of those! Jesus! I'll take those, though. Can you guys tell I'm not used to playing racing games? Get them, get them, get the fuck! Look at Trixie little freaking bastards, I dare you. Aw, oh, damn it, I was gonna hit them. Damn it. How were all the arrows inside the hangar from the start? No. If there was only one hangar given to her, you know, to Kaido, then no. Boop. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you kidding? Do you see how fast these things are going? Do I have to go like at a moderate speed to where I can just... Okay. See, this is this 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 bullshit. Okay, come on. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't okay. Come yeah, on. All right. Oh, damn it. Fuck. There we go. Get out of my way. I swear I'm a very good driver, I swear. Who brought the two arrows? Fuck, I don't know. Anonymous! I don't know. A third party. Hmm. Seems logical. There we go! Complete! Could it be that the additional arrows were brought in by a third party? Plausible. A third party? So someone besides Fukichi or Himiko? That's just a guess, though. There's no way a third party exists. If a third party did exist, why would they bring two arrows? Kaido was the only one with a crossbow. I made sure I handed it to him. Kaito said he only needed one arrow. Clearly, he didn't want to fight. Yeah, that's right. So the other two arrows weren't for Kaito. They were for the third party to use themselves. So the third party didn't hand the arrows through the window. They shot them through the window! Instead, they went into the hangar and shot the crossbow themselves? Impossible. There was an alarm system and an electric barrier around the hangar. To just go with what I literally just said. They they shot him through the hang the the window. Yeah, that hangar should have been completely closed off, right? There's a goddamn window. It was completely closed off. But can we confirm that? I feel like there might be another way, some way that we haven't figured out yet. I'm overlooking something. Think, think. What method did a third party use to enter the hangar? Oh, wait, oh. Okay, that, okay, okay. That question right there just changed it up. I was, I was figuring out, okay, they could have shot through the, you know, shoot through, shoot through the freaking, um, you know, just shot through the window, but that, that question right there just changed it up. What method did the third party use to enter the hangar? Okay, um. What other way besides the remote control would you be able to get into the hangar with? Uh, the Exosol? <gasps> oh! Maybe that's why there was a freaking dead, you know, electro hammer near those three Exosols. They might have used that on the Exosol and then piloted it to get inside. Oh shit, Hangman's Gambit, okay. Okay, if there's an E, ah. Oh my god. Oh. Eh. Eh. Is there an S? I need me an A. Ah. Well, this one was easy to solve. Exosol. The Exosol could be used to enter the hangar. We couldn't get in because of the alarm system and the electric barrier. But that shouldn't have been a problem for any of the Exosols, right? So if you wanted to enter the hangar, all you had to do was pilot an Exosol. I saw an Exosol enter the hangar last night. So was this third party piloting it? By the way, I just want to confirm something with Monokuma. 
Would the alarm still go off if there was a person inside an exosol? Well, I wasn't trying to keep this secret, but since it's about the details of the hangar, I guess I can tell you guys. It makes sense that the alarm system and electric barrier wouldn't react to an exosol. After all, the hangar is where the exosols are supposed to be stored. It'd be a hassle to disable the security every time an exosol comes and goes, you know? Fair assumption. So even if someone is inside an exosol, the security system wouldn't catch them. Does it be a hassle to leave the exosol every time you have to put it away? So it's like Shuichi said? A third party got in an exosol and entered the hangar? But can just anyone pilot an exosol? Not that I'm aware of. Well, Kokichi, it's surprisingly easy. If you use both hands, both feet, and both nipples, you can do it. What? Why the nip why the nipple specifically? Nipples too! <laughs> anyway, this third party commandeered an exosaw and infiltrated the hangar. That is the weirdest method to control a robot, Jesus! That same person must have brought the other two arrows with them. I told you that's impossible. Huh? There's no way you can get through security if you pilot an exosol. It's not possible. What? Not possible. Maki, what are you talking about? What are you thinking? What do you know? Why are you trying to hide it? Why? Why won't you tell me? Hmm. If someone was piloting the exosol, they could have used it to enter the hangar. That's not possible. Is operating the exosol really that difficult? Do we even know how to get inside an exosol? Outside the hangar, there were four exosols. And they were all moving, too. I was controlling them remote. Electro hammers weren't an option. Yesterday, all the hammers were still recharging. There's no way to stop an exosol. So getting inside one would have been impossible. You're right, it's impossible! It's not impossible. Considering there was a used electro hammer? There is one way to stop an exosol. I have to shoot. If I'm guessing that's the truth bolt. Yep! They could have used it to enter the hangar. Which means I think I, God, I think it was either Maki or Kibo, but they said something about recharging. That's not really possible if one of them was already used. Outside the hangar, there were four exosols. And they were all moving too. I was controlling them remotely. Electro hammers weren't an option. Yesterday, all the hammers were still recharging. You were saying? That's wrong! Wait, not all of the electro hammers were being charged. Correct. I pay attention to these things I even know, though I completely I missed it first time. There was a used electro hammer near Monokuma and the Exosols. Hammer used by the third party? Maybe they used it to disable an exosol. Yes, I think so. And the only person that when I saw them last afternoon, there were four exosols. Hmm. <gasps> but this morning, there were only three. She was the only one that didn't bring her exosol. <laughs> Sorry, I got I got bleh. She was the only one that didn't bring her electro hammer when we were storming into the hangar. Hmm. Maki does have ample reason to want to kill Kokiji, though. I noticed that too. Was the missing exosol taken by this third party? <laughs> Shuichi is getting warmer. How about you say the answer right now? 
Who did it? Who is this third party? Hmm. The identity of the third party. The Electro Hammer gave us a gives us a clue. I saw four exosols at the scene yesterday when I went to meet up with Kaito. This morning when we were trying to get into the hangar, there were three. The culprit must have used the Electro Hammer between yesterday afternoon and this morning. There's only one person among us that I could think could do that. Maki! It's you! Maki, you're the third party we're looking for, aren't you? What? It's Maki? What are you saying? Remember what Kokichi said. But be careful, the Electro Hammer runs out of battery pretty quickly. So if you use it against an Exosol, it'll run out of juice with just one shot. <laughs> Got it. <clears throat> the Electro Hammer needs to be recharged for 24 hours after it runs out of battery. That hammer was used last afternoon, so it couldn't have been used this morning. Oh, right. When we were all gathered in the dining hall this morning... Maki, where's your Electro Hammer? I don't need it. I'd rather not use a weapon I'm unfamiliar with. This is much better. A knife? Well, I suppose you know best. Maki was the only one without an Electro Hammer, wasn't she? Knowing that, the Electro Hammer I found could only have belonged to Maki. And that leads me to the conclusion that Maki must be the third party. She also knows how to assemble the crossbow, and could have returned it to her lab later. You brought a different crossbow than the one Kaito had, right? Maki took two arrows and her own crossbow from her lab, disabled the Exosaw with an electro hammer, and infiltrated the hangar. And perhaps she intended to kill Kokichi. Now we just have to figure out what happened after- I'll kill your magic. Shit, our second rebuttal showdown with her? Why are you doing this? I have to find the truth, Maki. What? Why are you getting in my way? Getting in your way? Maki, what are you- Yes, I'm the third party. Huh? I admit to going into the hangar with an exosol, and then shooting the crossbow. I didn't kill anyone. I'm not the culprit! I'm not even accusing you! I'm just trying to find the damn truth, goddammit! Oh, poison! Right. I used the Electro Hammer. And I used the Exosol to enter the hangar, too. I also shot the crossbow there. However, I am not the culprit. Because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. The crossbow is not the murder weapon? What do you mean? The arrows left holes in the clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. That's why the crossbow can't be the murder weapon. Therefore, I'm not the culprit. Fuck! <clears throat> I don't want to think that Maki is the culprit. I want to believe her. But the way she's scrambling to defend herself. The arrows left holes in the clothes. Okay, I was right. I, I was right to be suspicious the about the poison the bullets. Now I just gotta figure out where to use it. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. I'll cut through your words! Okay, okay. It wouldn't matter where the arrow hit if it were poisoned. Poison? I noticed something about the poison in my lab during the investigation. There was just a little less in the bottle than before. If that poison had been applied to those arrows, they would have been lethal no matter where they connected. 
Maki, do you have a rebuttal? What's the matter? Why don't you say anything? Don't tell me. Are you really the culprit? No, I don't want to assume she's the culprit. Th there's no way she is! Because why would she kill Kaito? She's got no reason to kill Kaito. Maki is still fighting. Huh? Fighting? Do you remember that Maki said she would do anything to defeat Kokichi? Maki is trying to kill Kokichi in this class trial. She wants to kill the mastermind, a remnant of despair. Then hmm. when Maki said she would sacrifice anything, she meant... The sacrifice that Maki was talking about must be... All of us. That's it! She plans to sacrifice all of our lives in order to kill Kokichi. Sacrifice us? Then by hiding the truth, Maki was trying to get us to arrive at the wrong answer. Just to kill Kokichi and the rest of us along with him? Doesn't that mean that Maki's the culprit? She knew what happened and tried to hide it from us. But that mischievous plan was ruined, all thanks to Shuichi here. <sighs> Too bad, Maki. I already predicted this would happen. You knew all along that Maki was the culprit. That's why you've been so calm. This isn't over. No, it's not. Hmm? Maybe we do have the truth now, but this isn't over. We have a choice to make. We don't have to follow where the evidence leads. Huh? What do you mean? Does this mean you're gonna vote for someone else, even if it's not the truth? Hmm. Someone else? You mean vote incorrectly on purpose? What did you say? Kaito told me that only I would be able to grasp what lies beyond the truth. That means finding the truth is not enough. We need to grasp the hope just beyond it. Precisely. So, Maki, please tell us the truth. The truth that only you know. So Kaito said that to you. Then, does that mean you guys made up before he died? I'd like to think so, yeah. Yeah, when I went to see him yesterday. I see. Okay. I'll talk about it. Especially since it's my responsibility for involving everyone. Go right ahead. Shuichi. You're so persistent. Were you always like that? Uh, you think so? Maybe Kaito's charisma is starting to rub off on me. <laughs> that guy... could be pretty stubborn. <laughs> it's just the kind of guy Kaito was. Then, what really happened? Maki, please tell us. Please. And so, Maki began telling the truth. A truth that would leave us all in shock. Yeah. Don't just start narrating things, you're ruining the mood. Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> well, I guess this turn of events isn't exactly boring either. Uh, uh Oh! Shit. That's kind of a dick move to leave at an intermission. But this is Danganronpa, I'm not surprised.